This video will be focusing uh, topical FECO emulsification in a grade 3 nuclear sclerosis cataract employing the cartwheel chop technique to divide the nucleus. So here two side cords have been made with uh, 20 gauss MBR blade. Main port incision with 2.8 millimeter keratom blade. Case is being done under topical anesthesia and uh, patient is a little bit apprehensive and uh, continuously blinking his eyes but uh, he is compliant enough to for us to proceed with the topical FECO emulsification so uh, after uh, constructing the main wound we have filled the chamber with uh, viscoelastic substance and uh, Continuous curvilinear capsular axis of around 6 mm diameter size is being done with the help of Utrata axis forceps. Hydro dissection is done and a clear fluid wave passing through the posterior part of the lens is. Uh, ensured so now we proceed to the FECO emulsification part After a uh, bit of uh, cortex removal, uh, we proceed to echo 2 mode and uh, hold the nucleus in the center and uh, employing a combined chop technique, we make multiple fragments. The center uh, might not be uh, divided so it is kind of uh, like the cartwheel where the, there is a central portion which is the endonucleus in this case and we proceed to do at least six to seven multiple fragments and uh, try to bring them to the center and uh, emulsify them and uh, after removal of one or two pieces, we can always proceed to remove the endonucleus, which is the central undivided part. So here, this is the endonucleus. After removal of the endonucleus, it is quite easy to uh, hold. Uh, every piece uh, with vacuum bring it to the center and uh, emulsify it in the supracapsular plane or in the bag itself patient is a little bit apprehensive and uh, he has uh, moved his head also so that's why the uh, microscope is uh, view is off center but that is okay we are able to finish the emulsification part successfully and uh, now we will proceed to the irrigation and aspiration part using bimanual irrigation aspiration Cartwheel chop technique it is quite useful in cases uh, where the chopping is incomplete and there is a posterior leathery uh, part of the nucleus which is which remains undivided and even in cases of uh, diabetic cataracts so this is a quite useful method so now the irrigation aspiration part is over we have removed almost all the
cortical fibers. There is a little bit of posterior capsular uh, cortical remnants other to the posterior capsule. So we can always polish that off using the irrigation and aspiration cannula. And uh, the sand uh, blasted uh, aspiration cannula tip is quite useful in polishing the posterior capsular cortical fibers. Now we proceed to implant a hydrophobic acrylic single piece intraocular lens under hydro implantation. And after implanting the lens into the bag, we remove the little bit of viscoelastic which is adherent to the IOL surface. Hydro implantation technique is quite useful as it uh, uh, doesn't require the visco insertion before implanting the IOL. So the visco removal is quite easy and fast also. So after uh, all the steps have been done, we proceed to hydrate the wounds. Now the case is complete. Thank you so much for watching.